Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and we've got a, an Australian book to look at today Matabosaurus, an Australian dinosaur in its time and space by Mary E. White and first of all, no copyright intended all artwork belongs to the owners and Mary E. White was a famous Australian I guess paleontologist Botanist, I think she did pass away a few years ago and she did write a, another book that I, I do have uh, the greening of Gondwana so I need to go through that as well eventually but through my what I've read on her she was mainly um, into the prehistoric plants especially um, the, the southern um, continent you know, this is Matabosaurus, and this is about, I guess, the environment that Matabosaurus lived in um, in Australia back in the day in the Cretaceous. And it's a lovely book. It's actually, believe it or not, when I found this at the thrift, uh, I first glanced at it, I remember when I first saw it and I left it, and then I went back for it when I was, because I, I was in a rush and I didn't actually take time to have a look, a proper look at the book, but picked it up, and when I was doing my research, this is quite um I didn't realize this is quite an expensive book. Like a couple of them have sold for like over a hundred dollars in Australia, and it's just um one of those uncommon books. And I guess because of um who she was, it's quite sought after. But we're not here for that. We're here for to appreciate the book for, for what it is. And it's I like the concept about a particular dinosaur. Um, in its environment and what it may have faced. So, illustrated by Robin Mushi. So, we get a, um, an introduction, like most books. Yeah, and it just talks about we get an introduction, like how it may have been, you know, the the southern great land Gondwana and obviously when um, Matabasaurus was around at that time I think because Gondwana split up I think when Matabasaurus was found it may have still been Australia was I think still connected to Antarctica at that time I think But the artwork's really nice, it's kind of like water, water colours. And in the book it does describe like Matabasaurus, how it would have woken up and you know, the insects buzzing around and the sunlight and so forth. Just like everyday life, like any other creature like today would have lived their daily lives. And that's how the book is presented. And yeah, it's written in, in a really nice way. And um, we've got all these different creatures that were her, were in in its environment, like ancient crocodiles and dragonflies and plants. Obviously, these guys have been a feast. Some earlier sort of dromaeosaur. The honey plaques. Which dinosaur is that? Uh, uh, I can't find either. It's more like bird like dinosaurs. Overnight kill. Yeah, some sort of dromaeosaur, I think. Then it talks about like the volcanic ex yeah, um, explosions and how um, you know, the formation of the land was changing and so forth. So yeah, it's kind of written kind of like in a, as, a, as a story as well. 
And then we've got like these Rheotosauruses, one of the bigger sauropods in um, Australia. And obviously Matabasaurus I think was more in the, it's more the early, mid Cretaceous, something like that I think. Um, just talks about the um, female having eggs and so forth. Got some frogs. Got some egg thieves there. It may have been the minions from from before. Um, there we go, and then we have the baby's hatch. So it's written in a um Again, in the in the story form, it's actually a good book to read to to kids. But it's good. It's a lovely book. Just the way it's presented. Uh, one of Australia's probably Australia's most famous dinosaur, I would say. And you know, they suspect maybe the little babies jumping on the back, like spiders. You know. Baby spiders on the mother spider on their back. Who knows? They're in the water. Here we go. Dreaded Allosaurus. So it looks like it's got to be early Cretaceous, I think. Any big Dreaded Allosaurus. So, or Allosaurus ancestors, I'm not too sure. Got some petrosaurs flying in the sky where Amanabasaurus is probably having a look at floating probably somewhere safe to with her babies. Yeah, and then the the basic information about Manabasaurus, about its you know, it's about in the family tree and a description where it was found. And how the land was connected back then, early Cretaceous times. So yeah, Australia was still connected to Antarctica. So, and this book was written in 1990. So, geez, it's really been that long. So, a really lovely, and we've got the babies at the back end. This was sold in Melbourne University bookstore for 20 bucks back then so yeah quite an it seems like to be a sought out book from Australia I can see why it's written pretty good and really good for kids to to read the story and even adults too um, yeah um, this one's a different book an Australian book we don't have many as many from Australia compared to other parts of the world so I hope you enjoyed this book and please comment below if you um have read this one or borrowed it or own it i'll see you all next time